Hi everybody, I'm Sylvester here. Thank you very much. It's very entertaining. Yep. So right now I'm going to share with you this very exclusive listing, like what Jason had mentioned. This is a very iconic building. This is at Pinnacle Duxton. Where is it located? You can see here, we are located right smack in the middle of CBD. If you can follow my mouse here, look at the star. This is Block 1G. This is the location of Nickel Duxton and I'll be sharing with you this unit today, right? There's a lot of things around it, right? So let me just share with you what is beside us, the Amity Station. What do we have over here? You can see here, we have this East-West line, the green line, and of course our future line, Thompson East Coast line, right? And below, we have the Ultram Park. So how far are we from these two, these three stations? You can see here, we are about five minutes walk from Pinnacle Duxton, right? Of these two station, right? These three stations stay share the same entrance. So there's an underground pass, right? It will be sheltered. Okay. So if you look to your right below, you see Tanjong Paga, right? This is where all the office tower is. And how far are we from there? On this map, if you can say it's nine minutes walk, but probably if you live there, you will know that you can actually cut across the CC towards the neighborhood area and you, you'll be much more nearer. It's less than nine minutes, right? Of course, if you look the top we have this future station right this is the maxwell mrt right this is a future thompson east coast line so let me touch a bit on the thompson east coast line right so you can see here this is the whole network of our mrt system in singapore so i would say that everywhere will be have mrt but what's different unique about pinnacle duxton you get a lot of interchange mrt right but of course over here i want to zoom into two stations which is the Ultram and Maxwell MRT. If you see Ultram Park, there's a lot of color line, right? So this is like interchange and of course Maxwell. So if you see below over here, stage three, what does this mean? Because this line will launch in phases, in stages. So stage three will be ready by 2021. So right now we are at 2020. So there's some things for you to look forward to. I would say it is uh, very soon, right? So of course this will bring you much uh, more much convenient to the estate over here, right? So how about the buses here? So for your information, there's bus stop just below Brock 1G. So if you refer to this photo over here, that is the bus stop I'm talking about. And there's an overhead bridge link you to the other side, right? So it's um, sheltered all the way, right? So over here, there's also ample bus. Basically, all this bus bring you inwards to the town and outwards to Orchard, to CBD, right? So if you need more information uh, of this bus, you can contact your agent. You can also contact me. I can provide you with more information of the bus, right? So next thing, I think to be fair, I have to, I have to cover for driver, right? For driver, what do we have? How accessible are we? So if you look here, we have two major expressways serving us. If you look to the top, you'll see this CTE, right? From CTE, if you turn left, it brings you to AYE, bring you to uh, nearer to Jurong, right? If you turn to your right, this will be going down to Woodland and Ishun, right? So if you look down on the map, you will see AYE, right? So AYE, if you turn right, you go down. Actually, this brings us nearer to uh, to uh, CBD area. And of course, you see KPE. KPE actually brings us nearer to the airport, to East Coast. This is a very uh, nice, nice road to take, right? So this is for all the driver, right? So of course, how about for parents? I believe a lot of youngsters want to live in this very nice you know, location. So one of the criteria is a preschool and kindergarten. So how many school do we have here? Make a guess. Let me show you. Look at all the pointer. How many do we have over here? So just to share with you, we are looking at one kindergarten and eight preschool. Total, we have a total we have nine over here. So all this, if you see here, this is within, I would say, less than 500 meter walk. Th that is how convenient it is over here. If says, uh, if, if you're young parents, you're looking for unit over here, right? Next, primary school. You can see here, we had, there's actually Candleman Primary School, which is just opposite Pinnacle Duxton, right? So this is within a kilometer. So we have another three more. This is within two kilometer. We have CHIJ, Radin, and Changde, right? So this is something for you to look out for. So of course, over here, this location, Pinnacle Duxton is a very rich in culture and there's a lot of things over here you can find. 
So uh, when I do this, I'm also a bit confused. So I decided to bring the two types, the traditional one. And of course, let's touch on the modern one, right? So traditional, what do we have here? We have ample things, ample coffee shop over here. But I'm going to focus on a few, which is, of course, uh, the bigger scale one. So just at the back, we have Tanjong Paga Food Center, which is less than five minute walks from Block 1G. So over there, this is a wet market and it's hawker and there's a lot of nice food over there, right? So if you think that it's not good enough, walk slightly a bit further, the Armour Streets Food Center. So this is actually uh, a lot of office club who like to go there for their lunch time. If you want more variety, you can hop over there and get some more food, right? And what's more, Maxwell, right? So I think this is, uh, everyone knows this place, right? I don't need to introduce, all right? And Chinatown Complex. So this is the place where you know every Chinese New Year, everybody wants to go there to get the atmosphere of a Chinese New Year, right? So over there, you also get a wet market and a lot of hawker and many shop houses over there. So I've, uh, you know, my friends, my friends' parents, they want to go there and buy the, the freshest fish or meat. They always go, they personally make their trip to Chinatown to get the food there, okay? So next, how about the modern and traditional one? What do we have? Let me show you. So see, just behind, we actually have at Tanjong Paga Plaza, we have NTUC, right? So if you think you need more, you can actually just cross across the road, 100 AM more. Over there, we have NTUC Finals and we have those box. And uh, yeah, my friend loves that more because there's Dong Dong Donkey, right? And of course, look at this map, you see a lot of low rise shop houses. So, for information, all this is actually conservation building, right? So, it's conserved by the, by the government, you can see here. The thing is, there are, there's a, there will be a lot of tourists visiting this place, and you got to see many colorful and you know, rich in culture shop houses which is very nice, right? And of course, right now, we talk about Pinnacle Duxton, as you know, from all the shop houses, you can see it, it is already a tourism stop. But do you know that Pinnacle Duxton is also one of the tourism spot for many visitors in Singapore? So this is something you need to know about Pinnacle Duxton. Let me share with you. So I'll do a fast one. Do you, are you aware that this is the tallest HDB in Singapore? This is 50 story, and this is the first in the world with two sky bridge linked to the seven tower. I would say, or oh, seven block we have over here, right? right? So you can see they have multiple award winning. And if you look at the number four over here, this is something very unique about this project. It is like a condo whereby they have, to, they, they are spending 500 meter each, the sky garden, and 26 floor and 50 floor allows the residents here to visit. They, you can do some activity over there, right? So zoom out into the facilities. If you look at this here, if we refer to the top first, this 50 story sky bridge, you can see. This is actually uh, only the resident can access the access card. If there's visitor or tourist, they actually have to pay to go up to look at the scenery over there. This area allow you to oversee the Singapore landscape, even fireworks, right? So it's very nice, okay? So if you look further down a bit, the 26th floor over here, you can see you've got a jogging track, a sky gym, playground, viewing deck, contemporary zone. Everything is there, right? So right, let's zoom in, go downwards a bit more into the third floor. They call this a third floor, but this is actually the first floor of Pinnacle Duxton. Over here, you get very nice landscaping and a basketball court. So you have to sleep for yourself, right? And of course, below, if you look at this food court, if you know this food court, this is a uh, Essence at Pinnacle. They serve craft beer and very nice English food. You should go and try, right? And, uh, and there's a lot more things you need to explore, right? Okay, let me show some facade of this building, the Pinnacle Duxton, right? can see very nice structure, architecture design. Look at the skyline, it's so beautiful. This is taken during the day and this is during the night, right? Imagine if you can stay in a house like this and it's a HDB, it's iconic. You can't even tell it is a HDB. It is actually like a condo look alike. The only difference is they do not have a swimming pool. You talk about the car park, it's a shelter. Everything is there, right? I would say, in fact, some of the condo facilities might not be better than Pinnacle Duxton. That is the difference. So this is the so-called the third floor I mentioned, the ground floor. 
where there's a basketball court and the landscaping is right. Have time, come have a look. Okay, this is the 50th floor, which is like a tourism spot where the owner can access. If you can see in the photo, right, you can see people here. This is actually the tourist. <laughs> right. Very nice skyline view. Right. You can see people posting, uh, you know, trying to Instagram, Facebook. Right. So there's something very unique here about Pinnacle Duxton. When I talk about Pinnacle Duxton, everybody will know. Anybody in the world, if they come to Singapore before. Right. So one thing to think of, other than the surrounding, the agriculture, the structure of Pinnacle Duxton, one thing people is talking about, a big thing, is the transformation over here. There's a lot of transformation. So let me show you what do we have over here. First of all, this is just beside. This is the, if you know right, this is a real way just beside, which is no, it's not being used. Right now, the government is revitalizing this stretch of 24 kilometer real corridor, right? So imagine after your work, after a hectic day, you can actually drop by just beside, take a walk at this greenery, you'll be fantastic, right? And what's more over here? This is just one of the big transformation. And this is even bigger. Have you heard of it? This is the Greater Southern Waterfront. This is actually six times the size of Marina Bay. It's spread across 30 kilometer coastline stretching from Pasir Panjang Terminal to Garden by the Bay. This is how big it is. Can you imagine something big is happening over here right now? What do I say right now? Because it's happening very soon, right? So of course, the government, when they mention this plan, they actually emphasize on live, work, and play. So you can imagine how much excitement is happening now over here, you know, at Pinnacle Duxton in this district itself. Okay, this is something to look forward to, which is happening very soon. This is part of the Greater Southern Waterfront Transformation. Right? This is Kepler Club, which is just further down the road. Their lease will be ending on 2021, late 2021. So what is going to happen over here? If you can see here, they mentioned 9,000 new HDB and private homes in this district. So actually, our uh, Mr. Lee Sien Long, he called it Pongo by the Bay. Why is it so? Because this is actually two times the size of Pongo, which, which is about 44 hectares. That's why he named it Pongo by the Bay. But just, can you imagine, there's 9,000 new HDB here. What will happen to the price at Pinnacle Duxton? Do you think it will go up? This is to think. Because why? Because we have expert sharing five room HDB over at Caper Club, this area, probably is going at 1 million for HDB, right? So this is something for you to ponder about, okay? Right, of course, why is Pinnacle Duxton top of the town? Why everybody want to own a piece of it? Look at it over here. If you look at a condo over here, which is about the same size, I will show you later, right? You can, you can see this. How much are they selling? They're actually selling at about 1.7 to 2.9 million, right? Because today you need, mine is about a thousand square feet. We are actually looking at about a million or so, right? You can see the price disparity is 700k all the way to 1.9 million. So that is the big price gap we are talking about here. So today we are talking about a HDB at about a million or so. From there, you can actually get all the facilities, you know, amenities, the location, the transformation, right? So this is the difference. And of course, rental and technical dust is something we cannot miss out. I believe a lot of people want to find out why. If you look at here, same size, but look at the pricing for a four-room flat, right? They are actually rented out at about 2006 all the way to 3005 So what does this mean to you? If says today you own a HDB over here, your monthly installment probably will be less than 2000 high 3000 So if you take this rental, right, average is about 3001 3002 your installment can be covered and you can actually get back quite a few couple of hundred of dollars to pocket in. So this is something which is uh, very attractive, which gives you very good rental year, right? Okay, so let me zoom in into this unit itself. So today I'll be sharing with you Brock 1G. It's a four room flat, 94 square meter, right? If you can see here, this block itself, right? There's 176 four room flat and 88 five room flat. So who is eligible to buy for this month? All buyers are eligible to buy regardless of their ethnic group and citizenship, right? Okay, so if you look at this, this is a top view of the seven tower from Pinnacle Duxton. 
So we're looking at block G, which is at the extreme right. So something very unique about this project, if you look at a circle on top, which I just pointed out over here, right? So the corridor links to all the unit is very exclusive. What happened? Most of the owner here, right? They actually put a shoe rack, a set dish just outside the house. So they actually move their shoe rack outside. You know, they, they made a very nice garner. They put some a wooden deck. Yeah. So you can free up some space in the house. So there's something very unique, right? So you're not paying for that space. Uh, that belongs to the government, right? Okay. So this is the floor plan of the unit. Right. So let's look at it. From the main door, you enter. You do a left turn. This is the kitchen. Good thing about this kitchen is it's actually a regular square shape. You can actually have a you know fixture the table top on the left and on the right. So this photo is taken from the yard direction. So you can see uh, this is the arrow with the angle being taken right. So this is for easy reference, right? This is the kitchen. It's fully done up. So next we go to the living and dining. You can see it's very spacious and this house is very bright and it's facing east. So that means basically uh, you won't get wet sun. It's very windy. Right? Bedroom tree. Bedroom tree size is very good. You can actually fit in a queen size bed. No problem. And look at the flooring. This is premium flooring. This is parquet. Unlike uh, any other HDB you can see in the market. So bedroom two. Bedroom two size is about the same as bedroom three, but the only difference, if you look, uh, look at the photo, right? There's like balcony. So this is a planter where you know you can walk out, you can look at it, enjoy the scenery outside. This planter is linked to the master bedroom. So this is something very unique over here at Vinegar Duxton. Now the master bedroom, right? Very good size. You can see I've taken two angle. That bed is actually a king size bed. What happened? What happened right now is the owner right, they actually uh, use the baby. They are having a baby cot. So later on in the video, you will see with the baby cot, you still get ample space walking around. So this is how good the bedroom size is. Yeah. So in fact, this unit right, uh, this seller they actually bought it uh, from one of my seller five years ago. So they fully done up this house. They actually redo it. They spent about sixty k to do it for your information. Right. So this is a very nice view taken at the balcony, right? So let me show you the video tour of this house, right? So this is the walkway which, which I talked about. You can just put your shoe rack, right? So ship it out. You have more space in the house, right? This is one of storage. Right. On the left is the kitchen. If you look at the living room first. Here the space is very nice. Look at the unblocked view, right? They actually install it with the invisible grill really because they have kids, right? So this is the highest condo in Singapore. To the left is Chinatown. Look at the skyline, it's fantastic. You can get some pocket view of the sea view, right? For this living hall, they actually put a L-size sofa. That's how big it is. And this icon is new, it's installed last year. It, they hardly use it. Right? So that mirror panel you see there, right? The house shelter is concealed behind. This is a TV console, nicely done up. You can just store your storage over there. So storeroom is behind this mirror. So right now we're in the master bedroom. Look at the size. That's a baby car I mentioned. The king size bed. Look at the space, how spacious it is. It's hard for you to come back around into this market. So let's walk out. To this planter have a look right enjoy the view imagine you wake up with this view and today we're talking about hdb price we are not even paying much more higher premium price this is a hdb right so this deck is actually decked up from bedroom to all the way to the master this deck was done by this owner by seller right so this is the master bath with a sliding door go ahead accessory there's a window, huge, nice window at about at the toilet. So there's better ventilation. And she even did a cabinet. So this is for all the ladies, for all wives, you know, they need more storage. So that is the whole idea, you know. So this is bedroom three, right? This is without the walkout balcony, the front door, sorry. Right? So you can see size is very good. 
and there's invisible grid installed with spectacular view. Right. So now let's come on to bedroom two. Same, about the same size. The difference is there is a planter for you to walk out. So how you want to arrange, you, you can actually plan, right? This is the kitchen talk about. This was done five years ago. There's ample storage. And look at the fridge. This is a huge two-door fridge. It's very spacious. You can see the storage, amount of storage. And of course, this PB door beside is a folding PB door. And you can look through. The owner especially did this. You know, they can monitor their kids, you know, when they're in the kitchen. So this is something very important for them. Right. Moving on to this part. This is newly done up last year only. Right. This is new. It comes with all the empty slam and something very unique about this kitchen, right? There is window, if you see. So imagine how windy and how bright this kitchen can be. This is amazing, right? So, and for the yard, yard a lot of time, uh, I would say it's too small, but for Pinnacle, their yard is a good size. You can see the amount of space you got after the washing machine, you still can move around and you see a window. This window is connected to the common bath, right? So this one, a night view. Fireworks, which is, you know, stand in your door at a house. You can watch, right? Very nice, right? Yeah. So that's about it for the video, All right? So let me do a quick sum up for this unit itself, right? So as you know, I, I keep emphasizing this is an iconic building, right? So this is something everybody will want a piece. Anybody will know. Of course, when it's iconic, you will get the best location, the best connectivity. And I mentioned the rental year. That is so important. Even you want to rent out, you 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 have you'll be stress free. You see, you don't need to fork out any cash, right? And houses over here is about uh, nine to ten year old. But for my unit, I would say uh, the reno is pretty new, so you can just move in straight away, right? Of course, the biggest thing I've emphasized is on the transformation. There's so much over here. Many house, many jobs, many uh, offices. Everything will be created over here. Can you imagine? how much this house probably will worth in future, right? This is something for you to start thinking, right? So if you have more questions, you can actually connect with me on the screen over here. I'm Sylvester and thank you so much.